Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the logarithmic regression rainbow. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 300,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So where is Bitcoin within our regression rainbow? Now, remember, the first thing we should say is like last market cycle, we had a general reaccumulation window here uh, where the, 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 the price was between this, these two regression lines. And this basically was our key accumulation zone for the bull market. The cycle before that, we were actually up a regression band, which happened to also be the same band as the cycle before it, more or less. I mean, it gets a little fuzzy down there, but more or less, this was the same accumulation band for the cycle before. Now, when you look to the present cycle, we were also in this regression band for most of the time, but we did have a lot more interest cycle volatility, which we have discussed before. Instead of just staying between these two regression lines like we did during the last cycle, instead, we, we actually made a impulsive move up to this band up here, followed by a capitulation down here. And I've often said that this capitulation here, in my opinion, was more important for the bull market than this one. And one of the reasons is because I, I do think that the fair value of Bitcoin does continuously move up. And this capitulation led us to a lower regression band than this one. And so the time that it took to go from here to here, I believe the fair value of Bitcoin was higher by that point. And so Bitcoin going to 3,800 here was probably, it was worse in my book than it going to 3,100 over here. And so you can see we've had more interest cycle volatility. And then we've been looking at this next regression line that we've come to, and we've been unable to really decisively move above it so far. We also came to this one back in May of 2018, right here. And we've been holding it right here as resistance for a number of months. Now, again, at the end of the day, these are, are, are just lines in a chart, and I, I don't want to pretend like they're anything else. Uh, but if we zoom in, it, it sort of does give us an appreciation for one idea, again, is moving from, from one market cycle peak to another, we tend to drop down a couple long lines, so we're not able to, to really make it to the same regression band from the prior cycle, okay? So for instance, this one made it to this red one, this one made it to the purple, this one made it to this yellow one. And so I, as I've said before, I would not expect Bitcoin to be able to make it to this regression band ever again. Now, it doesn't mean that we won't, it doesn't mean that we can't, it's just that it would be a tall order. And this, this regression band is only gonna get further and further away uh, unless we start moving up relatively quickly. You can see the valuation to get to that regression band today would be almost 110,000. So it's coming in at 109,601, and it's only going to get further and further away. Now, I do think that Bitcoin can make it to six figures this market cycle. I just don't think it's going to do it immediately. And we are, we are struggling to move into the gray regression band. Now, one thing to note is if we were able to move into the gray regression band, it would be the first time ever that the price of Bitcoin was able to move into a regression band only one remove from the peak because this first cycle, we did not make it to the one below it. The following cycle, it was two down. This cycle, we made it to this one, but we never made it to the orange one at the peak of the next cycle. Um, we, we came down even further. And then so far, if we were to make it into the gray one, then it would be only one, one regression band removed from the prior market cycle peak, which would be significant. But remember, time is on our side. So even if even if we don't make it into those regression bands, they are increasing. For instance, we almost came into the gray regression band and maybe we even had a wick into it already. We almost came into it over here back in February. And at the time, the valuation would have only been 60K. But since we've continued to move up for a few weeks, now in order to move into it, we'd be looking closer to a 64K Bitcoin in order to get into that regression band. And they are moving up each and every day. So we will continue to watch this indicator to see if, hey, are we going to ultimately hold resistance here for a while? Um, and if we are, does that mean that we are just going to stay right below it or are we gonna come back down to another one? If you look at the last cycle, there were times where we, you know, we, we 
came back down to sort of test a prior a prior level of of support or a prior resistance level in the prior accumulation phase. For instance, this was our sort of reaccumulation top that lasted a couple years. We finally moved above it, and then we came back down to it, and then we continued along the way. And and so I don't want anyone to discount the possibility of something like that happening this cycle as well, but we will need to just see how things play out on the chart and see what is Bitcoin truly capable of um, as we know it has been on one hell of a journey over the last year. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's go for 300,000 subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. We also have the premium list. You can find that at intothecryptoverse.com. If you pay with crypto, you can get a nice discount, but you have to pay for six or 12 months. You get access to weekly reports and videos, the trading view indicators, the Telegram alerts channel, the risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app. We have more stuff coming in Q2 that I think people will be excited about. So make sure you guys check it out, intothecryptoverse.com. At the very least, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to turn on your notifications, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.